I've experimented with rust bluing in previous videos. I'll leave links to them at the end of this video. Rust bluing is the process of converting red oxide rust to black oxide by boiling in water. Gunsmiths used this process to blue firearms in the 1800s and it's still used today for period correct restorations. I've experimented with a couple DIY rust bluing recipes using common household products. I've recently had really good results with this solution of peroxide, vinegar, and salt. I warm up the peroxide and vinegar in the microwave for about 20 seconds to help dissolve the salt. I boil the parts in distilled water. I chose this punch to demonstrate the process. I've used similar punches for my cold blue product reviews, so I thought it would be interesting to compare results. Here's the punch after the wire wheel. The knurling came out nice. There was quite a bit of pitting. I could barely read the maker's mark. I was able to get below most of the pitting with my 1x30 sander. I was careful to preserve the maker's mark. I thoroughly cleaned the punch with brake cleaner and boiled it in the distilled water for a few minutes before applying the first coat of rust bluing solution. I used a hair dryer to quickly dry the punch. Here's what the punch looked like before I put it in the boiling distilled water. And here it is going into the boiling water. The transformation from red to black happens pretty quickly. Here's the punch after boiling for a few minutes. I used a soft brass brush and some super fine steel wool to buff the finish. The pros call this carding. I degreased the punch with brake cleaner before applying the second coat of rust bluing solution. I dried it off with the blow dryer again. And here's the second dip into the boiling distilled water. 
It turned black like magic. Here's the punch after boiling for a few minutes. I buffed it and degreased it again. Here's the punch recoated and ready for its third boil. I repeated everything one more time. After buffing it for the fourth and final time, I coated the punch with non-detergent 30 weight oil and let it soak overnight. Okay, here's what the punch looked like before I started. And here it is now. I think the rust bluing came out really good. This is a Lufkin number 72D drive pin punch. The D is the designation for a 5 30 seconds diameter end. Here's the rust blued punch next to various cold blue nail sets for comparison. The big advantage rust bluing has over coal bluing is its superior corrosion protection properties. Rust bluing is a somewhat longer process compared to coal bluing, and it is limited to parts that can be fully submerged in boiling water. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. When I was on archive.org looking for Lufkin catalogs, I found this cool comic book Lufkin published in 1949. The Amazing Story of Measurement. I'll pin a link to the archive.org PDF in the comments. There are vintage copies of it available on eBay if you want to buy one of your own.